Okey, sekarang kita dengar cakap cerita daripada Adrian dan Cynthia yang baru saja menduduki SPM BM SPM 2014. Jadi mereka nampak muka pun mereka rasa gembira, happy kerana telah berjaya menjawab BM dengan baik. Okey, Adrian. Um, you see, some students are not taking BM so seriously. Maybe including some of your friends, you know, in school. Your juniors who are not taking BM so seriously, uh, they think it's like a burden lah to study BM. So what what say you lah? Actually, BM is not a burden. It's not actually something very hard. You know, it's just uh, you just need to improve on your vocabulary and need know the uh, those tata bahasa a little bit of a tata bahasa. So these two things, if you master already, then your BM will be alright with you, and there's no problem with your BM already. And ideas, yeah, you need ideas to wish, <laughs> wish you get in Sugu's technique because I come, uh, I came for his class, uh, his class for two years, and yeah, you can have all those ideas from his technique. All you don't, you don't even need to think. Even if you can half it and just go for that time, you still get an A for BM. So actually, BM is seriously important. Which actually, any language also is very important. Because normally they say that uh, English is the international language, so we need to master English and all that. But no, actually, BM also you need to master it. Because as Malaysian, right? If you don't know BM, then what are you? Uh, you are not Malaysian. Because eh? you need to know Bahasa Melayu. That's why you are Malaysian, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's very patriotic. Okay, Cynthia. What say you? Um, actually, I think most of them are facing problems with ideas, lack of ideas, and even you have ideas, uh, the words you use are not strong enough to gain marks. So it's a very good idea to come for civil classes if you have problem with BM, because as for our BM, it's very important in Malaysia. Um, so. Elaborate 
a little bit here and there, and yeah, the egg tastes like. Super.